everybody, uh, Sam here from Web Contempo, and I'm super excited today because we've got a real quick and pretty before and after to show you guys. So this site I built a couple weeks ago um, is a redesign. Uh, you can see their existing site is here. This is for a, a small pain management practice in um, Arizona and you know the locally targeted business they've got an older site as you can see um, you've got a copyright 2012 down here and uh, even a free websites template link from Steve's templates so you can see what's going on with that there as a matter of fact there's the template Wow, how about that huh first time I checked that out anyway so um, these guys came to me because their site, they wanted to get converted to WordPress, and they're also not mobile friendly. So in this case, I thought they would probably benefit from a total redesign of the site. And since it's a smaller site, you know, this is a pretty uh, easy, quick project for us, not expensive for the client. So uh, really, everybody kind of wins in this situation. They get a great site, um, and it's another cool before and after that we get to show off. So... Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. This is probably one of the cooler ones that we've done in the past month or two, I'd say. Um, so let's jump right into it. Here we've got the newer site. This is uh, what I set up using WordPress and Divi. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the screen here for you. Um, so you can see we use kind of a blue color palette. Um, kind of nice for... Uh, medical themed site we got the medical icons in here i got these from uh, media loot i believe if i remember correctly um we got the pulsating icon you can see i replaced uh what they were using as a logo there just with something a little bit different um same thing with the favicon up here so i'm um, just you know kind of dress that up a little bit nothing too wild um we added a nice hero image here uh we didn't want to go with the slider or anything like that just because I didn't think it was really necessary. They don't really have a lot of uh, content or anything super important to display there. The main thing they really wanted to emphasize was the uh, buttons for new and existing patients, which, as you can see, we've got in the menu emphasized, and we've also got them again here in the hero. Um, we gave it a custom font treatment, uh, a couple different fonts. I really like the rounded serif font on the body and then kind of a blockier font for the... Um, Headings, these are both Google fonts. Let me just pull them up and see if we can remember what they are. Chango one for the big one, and I think this is like new Nito. I want to say, oh, let's see if we can find it. Yep, new Nito, which is a pretty cool font, has a little bit of rounder look to it. I really like that for a body copy. Um, so yeah, um. And as you can see, we added some light fade effects there. Um, right here, we didn't, I was hoping to get a uh, larger picture because we really only had the smaller picture to work with and the resolution was not that great. Um, so as you can see on my screen, which is a 5K monitor, um, the resolution is a little bit blurry. On smaller screens and lower resolution screens, it's not gonna be that bad, but I'm hoping we can uh, at some point get a different picture to swap in there because that's gonna look a little bit better. But um, overall, it's not terrible. Um, and you can see down here we got a little, another little bit more fading effects, real subtle, and um, all the contact information they're going to need. When you're a locally targeted business like this, um, really important to have the contact information easy to find because a lot of people are going to be looking for your site on their phone. So. Um, you really want to try to make it so they can find everything in one page without having to... Uh, click in through multiple pages to find what they're looking for. Um, so that's pretty much what we came up with. Um, let's go ahead and scroll it down. I'll show you the mobile version. You can see it'll scroll and stack pretty well to fit onto a mobile device. Um, we still got the buttons there. So as soon as you pull up the site, you're going to get these two buttons to click here for new patients or existing patients. Um, got the mobile menu. Uh, still got all this stuff here, the pulsing icon and everything. And then we've got these sections that are pretty easy to get to. And you can see that they stack correctly. Um, we did that by actually adding a second copy of this section and then showing and flipping this around and then showing one section on mobile and one on desktop. So if we hadn't did that, then when you scale it down, what would happen is this picture and this picture would be right next to each other rather than it being broken up by picture text, picture text. So um, this gives us a nice uniform look and feel and you can see it's super easy to read all the the stuff on the page and somebody pulling this up on their phone is going to be able to pretty much find everything they want right on this page here so um, super nice result and 
um, going to be super easy for people to use. So that's uh, really, you know, the gist of it. This was a smaller site, so there's not a lot to it. You can see the inner pages, um, you know, compared to what we have here. We'll look at the new new page here, um, new patients page. Um, nothing really here except just a block of text, some links to some um, forums and so forth. And then they got the map here, which we um, include on the bottom of the page. So, you know, same thing, basically. We probably could have put a picture in here, but uh, what we ended up doing was just using this um, kind of uh, short header image on these pages behind the title just to make it look a little bit more interesting so it's not just totally plain um, and then that way you don't have to stick a picture in here because that's just going to be um, irrelevant to what's actually on the page anyway so I think this is, uh, came out to be a really nice result on these sub pages and they're pretty much all basically like this so uh, nothing too crazy going on there but you can see that um, compared to what they have it's really elegant and um, definitely looks a lot more modern so you know this is going to make people pulling this site up uh, want to contact them fill out those contact forms give them a call and hopefully schedule appointments because that's ultimately what um, every small business like this is looking to do so um, like I said I think uh, this is probably one of the sites I've been most excited to get launched in the last couple of months just because I just really like the way it came out um, for me I just I think this look and feel really popped and um, really happy with it so um, that's about it on this one make sure that you stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot more before and afters I have more sites I'm gonna be launching this week and um, I'm also gonna be doing some more tutorials so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned